What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Pubs. And today I got to, oh, today I got to tell you, I'm excited. I'm excited. We saw the world reveal of the Infinite Warfare multiplayer. You know what? I've been talking mad shit about Call of Duty coming out this year. I felt there was going to be a huge letdown. I mean, it still could be, right? We don't know. But if you're on PS4, October 14th, we get to play the beta. I'm happy. I'm happy. I, I was really feeling that they were not going to be putting out a beta. Everything led me to believe there would be no beta because there was just really no talk about it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it now, even though it breaks my NDA. I, I was part of a survey from Activision a couple of months ago, and it was about Call of Duty coming out this year. And there was a lot of questions about Infinity Ward and kind of like, they were really trying to get the gauge of, like, what's your Call of Duty history? You know, which of the Call of Duties did you favor? Which games did you think were good? What games did you think were bad? Why were they bad? Why were they good? And they asked a lot of questions. And one of the questions was about a beta. And there was a lot of opportunity to fill in your answers. You must actually write stuff in. So I was kind of like, wow, this doesn't really gel well with what... You know, months later, I was actually seeing come to fruition was it kind of felt like there was going to be no beta, you know. And but I always had hope in the back of my mind, like there'd be a beta. They would announce the beta. Like if you watch any of my videos, I always say, well, maybe there's surprises and say, and starting, you know, I was hoping they'd say starting today, you can play the beta on PS4, Xbox One. But uh, you know what? October 14th really doesn't leave much time between that and the release of the game it's like what three weeks um but that's enough time to make a choice if you're going to buy the game or not whether you're going to pre-order it or wait and see if you're going to say no or like you know you're going to be hyped just waiting counting losing sleep counting the days now you know what i'm saying we've been there before with call of duty um yeah i'm amped man i actually really am amped i i, I you know, I think what's making me a little more amped, too, is how how disappointed I was in Battlefield. Battlefield 1. Um, and then it's the, the total role reversal right now, right? I went into this past week so looking forward to the Battlefield 1 beta with really no anticipation of watching the Infinite Warfare multiplayer reveal because I already kind of felt like it was going to be shitty we weren't going to get a beta. It would be more of the same bullshit. And here we are, Tuesday. I get into, I get my code for the Battlefield 1 Insider. And um, I, I was part of the Alpha. And the Alpha, to me, was just kind of boring. But it wasn't bad. It was just boring, you know. And I was hoping to see a lot more come the beta. And here I get the beta. And I'm just disappointed. As a Battlefield fan, as somebody who enjoys the Battlefield series, who likes that that difference between Battlefield and Call of Duty. I like to play both. You know what I mean? And when Call of Duty's acting up and it's not acting right, I know I can always go to Battlefield and it's going to comfort me for a good amount of time. You know? I like having both. I like being able to play both. To me, that's the best part of being a gamer is being able to play both those games. Both of them fill, you know, what I'm looking for, the void that the other is creating for me at a time. But... So here I was, I was so disappointed in this beta. I was like, what the hell is going on here? You know, it played like shit on PS4. Then it played better on Xbox One. But still, it just, I don't know, it felt so much like Battlefront. I know there's going to be a lot of hate. Anybody, I mean, I don't get many views on this channel. But I know there are Battlefield people that watch some of my videos. And they're going to say, oh, you're just a COD fan. Listen, I enjoy both games. I enjoy both franchises. And I'll call out bullshit on both sides. I rag on Call of Duty all the time. But I think DICE has just really not listened to the Call of Duty, uh, Call of Duty, has not listened to the Battlefield community. And the fact that they made this game after that flop of a game, Battlefront, uh, Star Wars Battlefront game, which was another piece of shit, I got to tell you, uh, just utter disappointment. I, I'll, but listen, I will buy Battlefield 1 at some point, probably on PC, because I think that's what'll be at the it'll look the best, you know, it always does. Um But I'll buy it on Origin when it's like five bucks, maybe ten bucks. You know that. You know how it is. 
six months to a year later, you're going to get it for five, ten dollars. You're going to find it for less than 20 on, on the internet. You're going to get a code off a different website. So that's my plan right there with Battlefield 1. So, but anyway, then I roll into Friday. Now, from Tuesday to Friday, I'm thinking, oh man, Infinity better, Infinity Ward better deliver right now with Infinite Warfare. They better deliver because that's all I got left. I'm not buying Titanfall 2. I'll buy that on PC. Same deal. When it goes to $5, I'll buy it for PC. And I got to tell you, some leaked images came out the night before on, on on the internet about, you know, it being basically Black Ops 3.5 in a way. And uh, I was like, wow, okay, I love Black Ops. So I love Black Ops 3. So that's a good sign. And then we saw the, the multiplayer. And some of the caveats, some of the, not caveats, some of the takeaways for me was what they showed was a lot of boots on the ground. Did anybody notice that? They showed a lot of boots on the ground gameplay, not a lot of jumping all over the place, which I was like, marketing strategy right there they're trying to pull more people back in that didn't like you know the whole jumping but the jumping's in there so it's it's the black ops 3 movement the guy even said it is but um i was impressed i was impressed when i saw it, it looked fast um it looked really good it kind of looked like black ops 3 to tell you the truth um which i'm fine with i i, I said black ops 3 from day one should have been a three-year game or at least a two to three-year game anyway but this really just looks really good um I like the direction they're going with. I like the way they're kind of tying in the specialist abilities, but then they also got these whole new setups and they're going back to, you know, pick 10 system and how, you know, the only thing that came to my mind and somebody said this was, wow, this game is going to be a bitch to balance. But you know what though? Infinity was not a big fan of balancing all year long. So if something's broken, they tend not to fix it as far as like weapons or whatever. And that's where, like, sometimes Treyarch goes a little too crazy with the whole nerfing thing, you know? And they, they, they go overboard with buffing one weapon and bring up two, then they bring it back down. It's just insane. So anyway, uh, I was very pleased with what I saw. I am very pleased. I am very looking forward to October 14th. I'm getting that beta. PS4, we're getting it first. There's no word Xbox yet when you're getting it, but... Um, very, I'm very, very excited for this. I'm very excited. I am looking forward to it. Um... Yeah, if, if you guys on PS4 are wondering, well, I don't want to pre-order it to get a code, because you know anybody that has a pre-order code is probably going to get like a day or two early when it comes to the beta. Uh, do the Amazon thing. Do the Amazon thing. You you prepay on Amazon, but you don't pay at all. They don't pay until they sh you don't pay until they ship the game, so you just cancel. So you 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 go on to Amazon, you buy the game, and then they'll at some point they'll email you a code. It could take days. It could take days. You'll get your beta code. And then once you have your beta code, you just cancel. That's all. And then you figure out how you want to purchase it later if you decide you want to purchase it. Anyway, I'm your boy, Pubs. Moral of the story of this video right now is I am excited for the next Call of Duty. It looks fantastic. I can't wait to play the beta. October 14th on PSN, PS4, PS4 uh, Xbox. We don't know when they're getting it. Uh, hopefully, they'll get it, you know, Last time they did a week later, but that's even cutting even closer to the pre-order time. So I'm guessing two or three days later, they'll have it. Um, yeah, that's it. I liked what I saw. I liked what I saw. You know, maybe I'll go into further details in another video, but I just wanted to say this and get this out there. Anyway, I'm your boy, Pubs. I'm super amped for Call of Duty coming out this year. I know, I know Battlefield 1 depressing. I'll make a video about that, but yo, Pubs, and I'm out. Peace.